Did you set off the motion sensor? I sir. Oh shit. Walking? What the hell? I cannot describe an illustration of how I feel. My father does and doctors do because of the way I appear in relationship the way I sit at the piano and occasionally stand when I'm away from the piano because of the way I sit at the piano. I can't describe an illustration. Yes, it feels different. In what way? It, this is becoming too involved to describe. How I talk and how I look right at this moment. But I got the whole night here. Holy shit! What the hell's that sound? That... That is a motion sensor that just went off. I'm gonna turn on all the lights. I can't find my other flashlight. Let me actually check over here too. I'm actually paranoid that someone's going to jump out at me. Is there someone here? Do you not like that I'm staying in the room? Holy shit, I just heard a knock. Marcus told me about you. I am freaking out right now. That scared the hell out of me. That alarm goes off every once in a blue and it does not shut off unless you press the alarm button and I don't even have the alarm button on me. 
Holy shit. I am not sure what cause or what causes that motion sensor to go off, but that has been armed for like two days now. Um, the day prior during a live stream it had went off. Um, this is now the first time that it happens to me alone on the second, on the third floor, I believe. Mark has told me that there is an entity within this floor that sets that off. I will be turning it back on to seeing if it happens again while I'm here in this room. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know that was on. But that did scare the hell out of me. It is so dark down there. And I was hearing knocks while I was up here. God, I am so happy that just went off on camera. Once you go into this room, it gets super cold. This was like a secret room or something that he just recently discovered. I might have to put that back together. <laughs> Sorry, Marcus. I'm now back up in the room. I did remove the motion sensor up here so I wouldn't trigger it if anything. Blur out your ears. Let me see if I get any spikes. Or hell, even any SLS signatures. Let me fix my light. There we go. Did someone want me to come here? Small spike here. May I ask who you are that stays in this room? What the hell is that? Did you set off the motion sensor? What is your name? Let's walk closer. Make sure it's nothing. Like in an electrical outlet or something. Alright. I am getting a couple of spikes in this room. I don't want to say because it's cold, it means something's here. It's cold because I'm in the attic. <laughs> There's not much insulation up here. Right here on the support. What the fuck? I just got some. Listen. Hello? know what the acorn means because I know this has like a meaning. I see this a lot in graveyards. It almost looks charred. I now 
have everything set up, I'm going to be using the Spirit Box Session, the K2 meter, and also a PSB7. And I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually using one of the motion sensors right here on the floor. If anything passes in that room or around that doorway or even in front of it, I will literally get a doorbell sound that sounds like I have company. I might just leave that one as it is, just in case anything does come, you guys will be able to see that there's nothing there. I know something or someone is in this room with me. If you could give me some sign that you hear, I would greatly appreciate it. Come walk into this room. I invite you to. But first, I would like to get to know you. No. Yes, you. My name is Frank. Do you want to come get closer to me? Not try to sound weird? Is this easier for you to talk to me through? I welcome you to come to, to this area. Talk to me, get close to me. What now? What now? Just get close to my area, I'll pick you up in the K2 if you're here. Miles deep. Miles deep, I just got. Miles deep in what? Healthy. You're healthy? If, uh, if you mean me, I'm flattered. I sir. Oh shit. The motion sensor just went off. May I ask what your name is? I just got the motion sensor going off in this room. I heard a noise and the motion sensor just kicked in. I'm gonna walk closer over there. God, I keep freaking thinking I'm seeing something. Look. I'm now gonna pass in front of it. There's nothing in this room to, that's me, I'm triggering it right now, to cause this motion sensor to go off. See? Holy shit, I'm gonna trigger it now again, because I'm walking through. I want to thank everyone for coming through tonight if you did, because I don't know if they did. I'm going to have to read it or write it when I hear it while, while post. I want to thank you for coming through tonight, okay? I'm going to go into the blue room now. If you wish to talk to me through there, you can. Goodbye. I'm hearing noises outside. That's a car. Jesus Christ. Sounds like somebody got stuck. What the hell's going on out there?
don't know what he's doing. I wonder if he got stuck. At this point now, I'm actually gonna cut out the blue room area. Um, I did do a session in there. I didn't get much going on. So I'm gonna just start going straight down into the most active place from what Marcus has told me, the basement, which is the most creepiest floor for me. So let's go ahead and go straight down to the basement. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all my stuff and move on down. Let's go. to lift this up, so let me put this flashlight away. I just got a noise. This place is so freaking eerie. Alright. They were not kidding. It is freezing in here. This is the winery. Now in this room is where they would put the bodies back in the day. Is that a safe? I just now realize there's a safe in here. Just curious. That's actually pretty cool. These are caskets. And right here is the embalming fluid. EEZ covering, suntan. Plastic wound filler. Tinting cream flesh. Distributed by Drowsen. Pigment. Super fine powder. That's like for makeup and stuff. And in here are all the tools that you would use when embalming. This would go into the carotid artery. This is some other stuff that would probably go into your uh, brachial artery on your neck. And some of the rubber tubing that they would use to put the filler. freaking myself out. Totally different when you're doing it at night. And those are the needles that you would do to sew the person up. Those big hook needles. That has got to hurt. And then that is embalming fluid right here. Really old embalming fluid. I just now switched over to the SLS seeing what would pop up from here. If anything I haven't been having much luck with SLS. There's a lot of 
bumps and creaks that goes on here. I do have a K2. Is this the area where they used to keep the bodies? From what I'm told, this is. Is there any bodies stored here right now? That's a false. Hello? anyone here with me you could come close to me I just I just want to see if I can make some sort of contact with someone is that okay I was told that there was a lot of bodies that were kept down in this room at one point. Can you tell me if you were one of them? I'm now using thermal imaging camera. If you guys see something that I miss, let me know. Because I'm actually looking with my flashlight, not completely with the thermal imaging. This is the area. I was actually hearing some noises moving around. This is actually where they did the embalming. It was right here. Are you okay with me being here? I heard they used to hide bodies down here. Oh no. Just turned off again. Come on. Holy shit. Listen. I hear footsteps. Coming from the top floor. See if I can get it. Who's there? Can I know who's walking? What the hell is that? Oh, that just gave me goosebumps. Alright, I'm going back to night vision. I mean, thermal imaging. Sorry if it was a little blurry. I might have made a mistake. I can hear someone walking. This is terrifying.
All right, I think I'm about done. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you've seen. This place is one hell of a location. I recommend it, it is amazing. And when you're here exploring and all the lights are off, it's a very weird, dark, cramped feeling once you're here. But that being said, everything will be in the link in the description below. If you've seen something on the video that I did not see, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.